Okay, so the first thing Castle's gonna do is make the impact for Mira, and then he's gonna make his. Um, he's gonna set up the walls for Mira to do next. Through the rotation, set up the other Mira wall. So Mira should do these in reverse. So Mira should put up her walls, and then as soon as she's done with her walls, the, sh the other one should be ready for her. Then he's gonna make this rotation. He's gonna castle off here. Gonna go through the rotation. He's gonna castle that off instead of doing the window because if you do the window, they're just gonna break the window through Ten from seconds. nowhere. Then castle's gonna go open up some stuff here, and then he's gonna castle this. And he's gonna wait in this corner, but his last bit of prep work still needs to get done with the shotgun. So open hatch, and now he's gonna open up all of this shit here while he's waiting. This you have loads of time to do this, really. This is something Castle has lots of time to do. Um, yeah, that should be it. And then Castle's gonna sort of operate in here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So this means now when Castle's in here, he's operating this area, which means Mira and Ekum don't need to be worried about peeking here and worrying about over this side. Because unless they get past the castle, which is in here, and unless they get past the Mira, which is looking across this way at all the windows, and she'll be covered also down here. There's no need for them to worry about what they're doing. Um, we're actually going to blow hatch with somebody else later, but just so we can get out of here. So the idea is, let's say they're here and they're trying to thermite that wall. It should just be a matter of me coming in and killing them. If not, I can drop down here and I can shoot them from there. The other thing is, if I decide to drop down and let them push in, I can also get some late shots in here. So that's the castle.